One of my biggest regrets after playing through Diablo 2 the first time was not knowing about rune words. They are honestly some of the most powerful items in the game, and you can get some of them very, very easily. In today's video, I'm going to show you easy rune words you can acquire in Act 1 Normal that will make your gameplay so much more fun, easy, and enjoyable. Knowing this will also help you progress smoothly through the game. It's also super easy to make a mistake with rune words. If you put the correct runes in the wrong order, fail. You just lost those runes. If you put the right runes in the correct order but in the wrong type of item, you just lost those runes and the socket item too. So today we're going to discuss how to put the right runes in the correct order in the right type of item, starting right now. So Act 1 is pretty easy on normal difficulty, and what's great about that is the Countess it can drop runes L through Rawl, which means any of the runes in the graphic shown here. This means it should be easy to construct a couple very powerful items that can get your character off to a very strong start. Let's take a look at some of these powerful items. Steel is an incredible early game weapon by combining tier plus L in a two socket sword, axe, or mace. Now if you look at steel, you can see there's 20% enhanced damage, uh, plus to minimum and max damage, attack rating, which is very important for hitting mobs if you're a melee character, with a 50% chance of open wounds, which open wounds is a weapon mod which leads to a constant loss of life on the target hit over 8 seconds or 200 frames. It's not actual damage the target receives, but a negative life regeneration, which is not offset by the target's damage regeneration for monsters, hirelings, pets, etc. Now, one of the most powerful things about steel is the plus 25% increased attack speed. I personally like to make steel out of a saber, for sabers already have a very fast attack speed, and this is great for uh, a holy fire paladin, which gets... Uh, plus fire damage for each hit, and so you just want to hit lots of times, and so that increased attack speed works perfectly. I've noticed that this makes your gameplay extremely easy. You can usually take this weapon all the way through normal mode without ever having to replace it. Now an easy way to remember which runes and the correct order is to think tier real. You know, the, uh, the angel. So tier L, tier real. I can't recommend Steel highly enough. Uh, like I said, I made this on a Paladin I made recently, off my very first Countess kill, actually, and the entirety of normal mode was a breeze. It was such a fun time, um, you know, crafting this and one other rune word, which I'll get to later, so make sure to watch this through till the end. Now, another option is Malice. Malice is a three-socketed melee weapon, if plus L plus F. It's going to give you plus 33% enhanced damage, plus 9 to maximum damage, and 100% chance of open wounds, as well as minus 25 to target defenses, uh, minus 100 to monster defense per hit, prevent monster heal, and that really nice plus 50 to attack rating, as well as drain life minus 5. Now, personally, I have never made Malice. I'm sure it's fantastic, uh, but personally, it's not one that I've made. But rune words, in my experience, are incredibly powerful, so this might be an option for other classes besides Paladin, maybe a Barbarian, uh, think something like that. But I guarantee you this will also last you quite a long time, because this one probably hits even harder than Steel, considering it has more enhanced damage. So, highly recommend checking out rune words. If you're a Paladin, I cannot recommend Steel enough. Now. Moving on to armor, you can't go wrong with stealth. Now this armor I get on every character I ever make. It is just so good. So this is a two socket body armor, uh, tall plus F. It's going to give you some incredible stats like poison resist plus 30%. Extremely useful for acts one through three where poison damage is found frequently. But my personal favorite stat on stealth is the 25% faster run walk, which is great for any class. The hit recovery is also amazing, as well as the FCR, or faster cast rate, if it's applicable for your class. This armor will last you a very long time, too, depending on your luck, because of the great stats on it. Regenerate mana 15% is also incredible. Magic damage reduced by 3. All of this is very, very good. The one downside is the level requirement. I do believe it is something around level 19-ish. 
and typically you're leaving Act 1 around level 14 or 15 at most. Uh, typically you've gotten strong enough to defeat Antar and Ariel and move to Act 2, but what's really great is that that poison resist is useful all through Act 3, where poison is still found frequently. Now, the last armor piece that you can get very early in Act 1 Normal is Nadir. Um, we are going to look for a two-socket helm, and if you add Nef plus Tier, you can create this. It's going to be plus 50% enhanced defense, plus 10 defense, plus 30 defense versus missile, level 13 Cloak of Shadows, 9 charges. Uh, if you run out of charges, you just have to repair the item to get them back. Uh, as well as plus 2 to mana after each kill and plus 5 to strength. Minus 33% extra gold from monsters and minus 3 to light radius. When you put the helm on, it makes it a little harder to see. <laughs> uh, so Nadir, uh, another very powerful uh, helm. Uh, plus 30 defense versus missile is very good, as well as plus 10 defense. This is going to make your character much more tanky uh, and survive through Act 1. Um, cannot recommend this uh, highly enough as well. And again, you can just run Countess a few times to get these runes. Now, I talked a little bit about some melee weapons, but let's talk a little bit about some caster weapons that you can get off of Countess. One of those is Leaf. Leaf is a very good low-level rune word for a sorceress or a druid that is fire spec. All it takes to make this rune word is a tier and raw rune, both of which can easily be acquired from normal countess farming like the rest of the rune words we've been discussing. One of the easiest ways to get a staff with two sockets is from Drognan in Lutgolain. He is the best uh, vendor uh, chance to be selling a gray staff with two sockets. So if you can't find it in Act 1, uh, Act 2, you should be able to get it uh, much more easily. So Leaf is going to add 50 to 30 fire damage, plus 3 to fire skills, which is incredible, as well as plus 3 to fire bolt, sorceress only, inferno, and warmth. Those are all sorceress only. Plus 2 to mana after each kill, and plus 2 per character at level, uh, 2 to 198 to defense, which is based on character level, as well as cold resist, plus 33. So this is a very strong uh, staff you can put together, and all you need is um, tier and raw. So that is quite nice. Keep in mind when creating rune words that any rune words you create will retain any pre-existing bonuses found on them. Now this is another oopsie mistake. If you find a superior piece of armor with plus enhanced defense, a superior weapon with plus enhanced damage, or a helm or weapon that has plus skill bonuses for a certain class, all of these will remain on the final rune word that is created. So if, you know, you don't want to find a very low roll item and you choose to put your runes in it. So this is especially important when you found rare runes. You'll want to use only the highest stat rolled items once you finally acquire those runes, since you'll want to maximize your item's power. A good example of this is with Paladin class shields. You'll want to find one with very high resistance already, since it can vary from all the way from plus 5 to all resistances to plus 45 to all resistances. So you wouldn't want to waste some very rare runes for just an innate plus 5 resistance. And if you've played in hell mode, you know just how important resistance gear is. Now, for these next two rune words, it's a little bit more complicated, but I wanted to include them. Uh, this is sort of extra credit. Uh, you'll need the Herodric Cube from Act 2 to make these, but I still think that these aren't very hard to create, so I wanted to include them. Uh, these next two rune words require an Ort rune. Now, if you were paying attention, Ort rune does not drop off of Countess in normal mode. However, an Ort rune can be created very easily by putting three Rawl runes into the Herodric Cube and transforming them into an Ort rune, and Rawl runes do in fact drop from Countess on normal. You can then make... Uh, the Ancient's Pledge, which is a total favorite of mine. Uh, it is Rawl, Ort, Tal, has plus 50 enhanced defense, 43 cold resist, 48 fire resist, 48 lightning and poison resist, as well as 10% damage goes to mana. That means you're going to have some nice uh, mana coming back as you take damage. Now, this is an amazing rune word shield, perfect for Nightmare, or even sooner if you want to be really tanky versus spells. Um, in fact, these runes are also given to you, all three of them given to you in Act 5 as a, cross, as a quest reward if you wanted to wait. But if you wanted it earlier, you could also uh, create them it very quickly. And last, for our ranged weapon, I didn't forget about you, Amazon's uh, Zephyr. 
Uh, you'll need a two uh, open socket ranged weapon, and it is Ort plus F. Uh, very, very strong rune word here, or um, Ort plus F for Zephyr. You get plus 33% enhanced damage, 66 to attack rating, adds 1 to 50 lightning damage, minus 25 target defense. You gain 25 defense, 25% faster run walk, 25% increased attack speed, and a 7% chance to cast level 1 Twister when struck. So this is very powerful. Uh, once again, not very difficult to create. Just need that Ort rune and that Eth rune. And you can get a very powerful weapon that will last you a very good time, depending on your luck. Now that's it for this video, guys. I highly recommend uh, aiming for getting some of the powerful rune word gear that we just reviewed as soon as you possibly can, as it will greatly help make your character much more powerful very quickly. I know I played the game without them, and the game was <laughs> slightly difficult, but once you get these rune words, it is a breeze. Uh, if you learned something from this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more amazing Diablo 2 Resurrection Resurrected tips. My name is Toyhouse, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.